Hi everyone! Today we're diving into one of the most important tools in Procreate, layers. Whether you're brand new to digital art or looking to take your skills to the next level, mastering layers is a game changer. And here's the best part. Stick around until the end because I'm going to share an incredible Procreate tip that'll save you time and make your workflow so much smoother. It's a little trick that most beginners don't know, but will completely change how you use layers. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. So what are layers and why are they so important? Layers are like transparent sheets stacked on top of one another, allowing you to work on different parts of your artwork independently. Think of it as building your art piece by piece without worrying about messing up the rest of your design. To start, tap the layers icon at the top right corner. Here's where all the magic happens. You can add a new layer by tapping the plus sign and each layer is completely separate from the others. This means you can sketch, color and shade all on different layers for maximum control. You can also rename the layer so that you know what is what in your design. For example, I might be sketching on one layer, adding color on another layer and shading on a third layer. If I make a mistake, I don't have to re redo everything. I just go and fix the layer that I'm working on. Super convenient. Now let's talk about organizing your layers. You can rename a layer by just tapping it and choosing Rename, as I showed you before. This is especially helpful when working on bigger projects. You can also group layers by swiping right on multiple layers and tapping Group. This is great because it keeps your workspace neat and easy to navigate. See how tidy this looks? You can even hide or lock groups if you're focusing on another part of your art. Now let's add some finesse with layer masks. Masks let you edit without permanently affecting your base layer. Just tap a layer, select mask and start experimenting. It's a great way to add shadows, highlights or remove any details that might need tweaking later. You can also adjust the opacity of your layers to create subtle effects or experiment with blending modes to give your art depth. Tap the N icon next to your layer to access these settings and play around. Alright, as promised, here's the tip I mentioned earlier. Duplicating and merging layers efficiently. If you ever want to experiment with your artwork but you don't want to risk messing up your current layers, swipe left on a layer Tap Duplicate and work on the copy. You can always keep the copy if you're happy with the final. You can also group multiple layers and merge them by pinching them together or selecting Flatten. This keeps your file size manageable and your workspace clean, which is especially important when working on more complex projects. Trust me, once you get the hang of this, it'll save you so much time. If you're enjoying this tutorial and want to follow along with my tools, templates and step-by-step -step resources, make sure to join my Patreon. You'll unlock exclusive brushes, color palettes and practice files to make your Procreate journey even smoother. Just click the link in the description below or head to Patreon to get started. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and hit that subscribe button for more Procreate tutorials every week. And if you want to catch up on some Procreate basics, check out my next video on Procreate Selection and Transform Tools. 